Guys, Monday Morning Racer here. We're about to go inside Buddy Hole Racing here in Alvarado, Texas. <laughs> All right, my name is Buddy Hull. Welcome to Vertex Roofing and General Contractors and Buddy Hull Racing. We got some exciting stuff for you to see today. Follow me. So here's my BMX collection. I guess my first love of anything on wheels had to have been BMX. And um, this, one, this one in particular is, is uh, it means probably the most to me out of all these here. Um, this is the, a, a, not a replica, but the identical bike that I received Christmas in 1987. It's an 87 Schwinn Predator Freeform. And uh, man, the memories that revolve around these bikes and, and doing freestyle in my neighborhood growing up and racing these bikes and building jumps and jumping them. Um, you know, somehow, some way I always correlate it to then my love for automotive and racing. So I love these bikes. Uh, again, this is an 87 Freeform. We have a, another 87 uh, Freeform Predator, just a different uh, genre of colors. This is a exact, um, uh, the exact same one my, my best friend Gabe Looker had growing up. So when I, when I finally found this one in the condition it's in, all original, I then began my search to, to find one that matched his, and so I found one. And again, both these bikes are all original outside of the tires. Uh, this is a 24-inch Skyway, and uh, Skyway came out with some, some special frame sets uh, somewhere in the mid-2000s, and I bought one and built it when they first came out with a 24-inch mag wheel. So I love that one. This one right here, this is a Yo scooter, another Schwinn 87 model. Uh, and uh, I had one just like this when I was a kid as well. So I had to have that. And then this is a, uh, an SE that, are, uh, that is our pit bike. Uh, it's a 29 inch BMX cruiser. And, uh, and this, this was actually given to us by Robert, our crew guy. So uh, we love our bikes around Buddy Hole Racing and it's one of the ways we get around the pits. And uh, my love for bicycles will always remain. So.
All right, before we play hard, we always work hard. Work is always first. And so what we supply at Vertex Roofing for all of our people is a one-stop shop. So when they come, when they, when they get together, we have team gatherings, we have all the literature and any marketing necessary in-house. So that way they don't have to go to the, the shingle warehouse and grab it. So um, it is, you know, work to us means everything. That's our culture. You know, um, you know I, was, I was raised in an environment, if you're old enough to walk, you're old enough to work. And that's the culture we have at Vertex. And it's the same culture we bring to Buddy Hall Racing. So here is two of the three two-wheelers that I have. Um, I love my Harleys. You know, I've, uh, I've been riding on the street Harley since I was 21 years old. Um, the, the other Harley that I have is a fat boy. It's not here right now. And I, again, I've had it since I was 21 years old. But uh, this is my Street Glide. And this is my Road King. Road King's very important to me. Probably my most second, uh, most prized possession. Uh, this, is, this belonged to a late friend of mine. And... Uh, his mom was gracious enough to make sure this ended up in my possession. So I'm grateful to have it. You know, it's got some scuffs and some dents on it, as you can see here. You know, these are things that I'm not going to change. This is how it was when he left this earth. And so this is how it'll remain forever. And uh, once again, it's probably my most second prized possession. Love this thing. And uh, I need to go for a ride on it. It's about that weather. Our, our pit vehicle, which is a, uh, it's an easy go. Nothing special about it besides, you know, like everything we have on our team, it's black, black and white or black, white and gray. We got it logoed up. We got our basket in the front for all the tools and all the stuff that we need uh, to go to the starting line. And uh, we have a custom, which is, everyone's jealous, a custom chrome fire extinguisher mounted here in the rear, which, uh, which I love and I had to have. And then we got black chrome wheels. So you gotta be looking good when you're at the racetrack and, and uh, we do care about that stuff. And so, this is how we get around. One of the ways we get around the pits. The other way we get around, we're going to show you later. And it just so happens the Monday morning racer and I just may have a race on those in our parking lot. So stay tuned for that. So I'm here with my 1923 BBFA altered forever, for all time. This will be my favorite race car. This is the car I cut my teeth in, uh, made countless laps in this race car, countless learning moments in this race car, and uh, you know, so, too many memories to, to even really count at the racetrack that revolve around this race car with my family and my friends. And, uh, It'll forever be my, my favorite race car. It probably, probably in the end, uh, probably my most prized possession. And it's not worth much, but to me, it's worth everything. And it's because I know that this was the very beginning of my racing career. This was a stepping stone for me. You know, no one was gonna give a retired uh, competitive power lifter that weighed 270 pounds a shot in the race car, because that'd have been a bad idea. And so I had to create my own opportunity and I knew I had to buy my own car. And uh, I always loved alterts. You know, I love a few alterts. I loved funny cars. It made a lot of sense for me to, to buy an altered, uh, a little bit easier to operate than a funny car. One or two less crew guys. 
And uh, at that time in my life, this was the fastest thing I could afford. And so this is what I came home with. And, um, and again, this is forever be my favorite race car. It's a 565 cubic inch blown big block Chevy, 100% alcohol in the tank, MSD 20 on it. And uh, you know, it was designed to run 7.0 Pro in HRA. And then we ended up running, uh, uh, we put together a local series in which I, I, I had a lot of successes in, in central Illinois. And it was a, uh, probably the toughest possible scenario you could run in. Uh, we, had a, we, we ran in a, a 450 index and we had to dial in our cars. These style cars, front engine blown alcohol or front engine injected. And uh, we had to dial them in and uh, we couldn't have a delay box. So it taught me a lot about drag racing, taught me a whole lot about understanding a car and how to tune a car and become a better driver and be aware of where you're at on the racetrack. And um, the, the experience I have in this car and the memories I have in this car can never be replaced by any other car I ever drove. Um, uh, I'm, 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 again, this is, my, this is my baby, this is my prized possession. So I love her. So behind me, we got more cool okay. stuff. Uh, the first thing I'll talk about is my Baja Outlaw. Really proud of this thing, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's got a 632 cubic inch Chevy in it uh, with dry to the tip exhaust. I don't know if you know what that is, but it just let's just summarize it and say it's really loud. You know, it doesn't introduce any, any water into the pipe until the last few inches of the pipe, which makes this thing obnoxious on the water. It's so cool. Uh, nothing like putting a few of your buddies in it and, you know, feeling a cooler and, and uh, running 80 miles an hour on the lake here in Texas. We love this thing. And it's an older boat. We've completely restored it. Uh, new paint, partial wrap, new interior. Uh, it's got 8,000 watts of stereo system in it. It's got LED lighting all over it. I mean, it's, it's a really cool boat and we have a good time with it. As a matter of fact, it's about that time for us to get on the lake in Texas. So we're looking forward to that. Um, behind the altered is a, ha, huh, heaven forbid, a, a, a nitro funny car body, right? And uh, we do have plans with that body. Uh, we're not sure exactly uh, when that body's gonna hit the racetrack, but we know it's gonna be underneath the body. And um, we'll be ready for that. And uh, I'm excited to cross my license over. It's one of my goals to have a top fuel license and a fuel funny car license. And we'll be working towards that uh, maybe this year. It, it, it all depends on our, on our top fuel operation and the level of work that goes behind the top fuel operation. But we have, uh, we have a, uh, a basically complete uh, Big Show Fuel Funny Car uh, at this point that we'll be, um, that we'll be you know, mounting the body on and, uh, and making some runs in that. We're, we're really excited about that. So I'm excited to drive, to drive something short with the engine in front of me again. I, that was my first love, so I want to get back to it a little bit. I love top fuel, but I do want to drive that fuel funny car. So looking forward to that. Top Fuel. All right, so this is why Top Fuel. Uh, this is why professional drag racing. You know, it's a challenge. And, you know, I, I, I don't just necessarily mean a challenge of, of wheeling and driving 11,000 horsepower, 330 miles an hour monster. It's not what I mean. I mean the first being able to, you know, uh, acquire a team, an operating functioning team, which I was blessed to be able to work on through Tim Wilkerson and, and, and buy an operating car that was competitive. Uh, secondly, build a team of people 
that are great because these cars, the most important thing about these race cars isn't this big old supercharger or the wings, it's the people that work on them. That's the most important thing. Without great people working on these cars, they don't go down the track. Um, and then thirdly, thirdly and last, believe it or not, is the ability to drive the car. It's a challenge. It's not, I mean, if it were easy, right? It, it wouldn't it wouldn't requ wouldn't require a special license it wouldn't require a physical each year it wouldn't require the things it requires and demands out of a driver and so and so for me it, it's it's a multiple it's a multiple areas of, of a cha multiple challenges in different areas of owning a professional team that, that get me the most excited. It's not just the driving, it's not just the owning, it's not just the keeping my team members happy and making sure Tim Wilkerson has everything he needs to make sure that he can do what he needs to do in my car to make it competitive, but it's all of them combined is what keeps my juices flowing. You know, I'm the type of guy that if I'm not busy 12 to 14 hours a day doing something constructive, I just may be in trouble and that's just the truth right that's that's who i am i like to stay busy and um man what's and, and besides that what's cooler than a top field dragster what's what's cooler i mean they are the king of the sport they're the fastest the fast the, the quickest accelerating the quickest to the thousand feet they are just the ultimate speed machine and i'm an adrenaline junkie so it fits me it, it fits my lifestyle it fits what i do uh, it doesn't mean I don't like driving fuel altereds and, and funny cars because they share equal challenges and I can't say I necessarily love one more than the other, but definitely Top Fuel is the king of the sport. I mean, they're called kings of the sport for a reason. They are the fastest and the quickest on this entire earth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here at Buddy Hall Racing, he's challenged me to do a scooter race, the E S. HRA Electronic Scooter Hot Rod Association brought to you by Jessel Valve Train Components and let's see if I can get this done. I'm not very apt at these things and hopefully I don't make a fool of myself. Buddy has been kind enough to let me give the start. That is our finish line. That is our finish line. Right down there. On go. One, two, three. Go! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you just won the first electric ski high rod association race. Man, first of all, let me get my breath here. Gotta thank my crew. Oh man, and uh, man, they really put a tune up in this car and, and well, my scooter, sorry. Put it, and uh, man, between rounds, we, we thrashed in this thing to get it back together. And, and I'm so happy it, it hit on all, all uh, 36 volts. And, and uh, man, James is a tough competitor. And, you know, thanks to the uh, Electric Scooter uh, Association for putting this race on. Uh, man, praise the Lord. I thank God for being here today. And uh, man, until next time. Buddy Hall Racing, champions and electric scooters for life.